Welcome back to another Brew Gamer video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some building techniques when you're doing storage. Of course, you can throw a storage chest on the ground just like you see here, and that's fine. And you can get them side by side, but you can't stack them up. So, your next option is to build under furniture. I don't have it unlocked yet. Let's fix that real quick. Alright, we got that fixed. So your next best option is get your hammer out and hit the right button is to build a box frame. Which is great. But if you do just a standard wall height ceiling your only option is two tall. You cannot put a third one on because it would clip through the ceiling. So you can get two shelves there. And we're going to show that problem separately instead of right there. So let's do some building real quick. Alright, grab some boards, put your hammer away temporarily, grab some boards, grab some sticks, not that we need them right now, but I always keep them in my inventory, I don't know why, ooh, I am overweight. So if you want to get past that overweight thing temporarily, double tap C. Rolling is faster than just walking. Two more boards. Alright, so we have a wall built out. And just like I showed you earlier, but this time we're going to build it completely out. So we've got our shelf snap into place. place. And we've got, got two shelving units. units. We're, we're going to grab, grab a bunch more boards, put, put that away. And just like with the chess, it's boards and simple parts. Alright, so standard wall height, you get two chests on a shelf. You're doubling up your storage space, works out pretty well. But if you want to maximize your usage of storage space and those shelves, you need to go a little bit higher. Now you could do a double height ceiling and that would be fine. I'm not a fan of double height ceilings. If you do lighting on them it's harder to get to a double height light to be able to set up all of the electrical work involved. So you would need to build scaffolding. And I'm not all, I am definitely not about putting scaffolding all inside my base. So what you want to do is a wall and a third. You can build it in either direction. I don't know why I'm going there, but let's try... Oh my, let's try this again. I build the lower section first, then the upper section. And you might be saying, Brew, why would you build it in that particular order? I will gladly show you. So there's two reasons I do it this way. Uh, there we go. Much better. And let's put the floor on there. 
Alright. I'm pretty sure I have enough. Well, I've got some materials. So let's go there, 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 there. Out of boards. Alright, I need boards. Put the hammer away so we can actually grab them this time. So basically, it kind of looks like you've got a chair rail or some wainscoting. And then you can go in, furniture, shelf, put the shelf down, grab that, that, and that. We're going to need a lot more boards. How many parts do I have? I've got three parts, that's plenty. Uh, put the hammer away. That should be more than enough. But now as you can see we have three storage chests all the way up. So now you've maximized on your square, on that single square you've maximized the amount of storage that you can put on that single square. But now why else would I build the bottom like I built there? <clears throat> well let me throw a punch first because I love doing that apparently. We're going to go beams and columns. Let's do this. Bam. 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 And that way. That way. Now let's go walls. Let's do stone first. And then let's see if it will let me... Yes, it will. There we go. So now I can grab, I don't know if I have enough stone, but we're going to find out. And it's getting dark, so we're going to finish this up as fast as we can. Alright. Hopefully you can still see the video. Fill in the stone. What? Why are you not let really? Oh, let's run around the side. So now that ah, sticks. Of course it would be raining right now. So now it looks like you've got a little stone starter. And you can change out these bottom pillars if you wanted and go number five. You could absolutely go stone on the bottom. Or you could do concrete across. I'm not going to do concrete because I don't have any concrete at the moment. Okay. Alright, because I didn't put that in first. Well, heck. No. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Five. You get the idea of what I'm going for here, but from the outside, it gives a little more flavor to your walls. Instead of it just being straight wood, you could do a little stonework, then a wall, and give a little more character to your building on the outside. In fact, I will do a short clip, or a short video, on an actual building like that so you can get a much better sense of what that looks like and give it a little more character 
adding character to your building is always a good idea. And there's multiple ways of doing it. That's just the way I, I enjoy, enjoy doing, doing it. it. It's, it's just, just my, my cup, cup of tea, tea that way. way. But anyways, anyways this, this was, was all about storage. storage. We've, We've done, done our storage. storage. Two tall versus three tall by only using an additional one-third wall. Maximize your storage space, which in this game you need storage space. You are going to collect a ton of materials and it's always great to have a spot where you can just easily put them in. And then of course as you start getting more and more storages what you can do is go in and type in let's make this um, let's say we're gonna make this one fuel. Type it in at the top left here, hit save and now it's labeled. I wish every game would do chest labeling like that. I think that is the absolute best way to have chests and storage in a game. You don't have to add any signs, no extra materials necessary, just quick, simple labeling. This one we're going to do oil. And then this one, just for grins. We're just going to label this one Bacon Grease. So you can put some fairly large text on there. Bacon Grease and Burgers. Nope. Two lines of text, almost the full width of the uh, chest makes it really easily easy to label and organize everything in your base. But that'll do it for today's video. This one went a little bit longer than I was planning on just because of talking. But if you like today's video, please leave a, a like and a subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It is free for you and it lets me know that you're enjoying the content that I'm throwing forward. Y'all have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.